Hey, it's uh, Red Bull. Uh, I'm here with the, my first video, my first tutorial. If you don't like my voice, please leave. I don't. I don't want to be with you guys. I'm actually 13. And blah blah blah. All right. First, this tutorial is for playing DS games on your PC for free. Just go open up your browser or Internet Explorer. Go to Google. And um, you need WinRAR. So. WinRAR, so you have to have WinRAR downloaded before you do this because you need to extract the files. Dang, what is up? Sorry. Alright, type now in Google, type in WinRAR free download. Then you want to go to here. Then you can like download English when RAR and RAR release. There's this one, there's this one, and so this is out there. I'll put it in the description. And now go back to Google. Once you have when RAR all downloaded and done, type in no cash sign GBA download. Wait for it, and then it'll have this no cash GBA download free. Click on the first one right there. And uh, scroll down where it says download no cash GBA. Download the one that is according to your uh, computer. If it's not here, you want to search, um, try here somewhere or search on Google. So I have Vista, so I'll download Vista. I already have it downloaded. And um, once you have it downloaded, it should look something like this with a readme text, but it's all alone in like a file with a readme text. And, um, Go back to uh, the Google, type in download Nintendo DS ROMs. And uh, make sure you just spell Nintendo right. And the uh, first one says NDS ROMs.com, the number one source for Nintendo DS games. Call them that. And I'll just exit the pop up blockers. And then there's top 10 downloads top 10 views top 10 ranked you can also search up games like if I want Ninja Gaiden I can just type in the keyword ninja and then it'll give me all the game all the sources that they have for ninja like that and then there's team there's Ninja Gaiden right there all right so let's say I want to download Grand Theft Auto Theft Auto and there all right so now we just launch the game. I already have both. I have Pokemon and Grand Theft Auto downloaded because they're both um, they both are different emulation settings. You'll see what it means. Alright, so first you want to drag the game. Like I want to play Pokemon. Let's say that drag the game to the No Cast GBA. Click Run, and how come it says the save file could not be accessed? Turn off power and reinsert the DS game card. Let's say you reset the cartridge. So you set it, but it still won't work. Then after that, you want to go to options, emulation option, emulation setup, and make sure the GBA cartridge backup media is an auto, and NDS cartridge backup media instead of none, replace it with flash 512k bytes. Click OK, click File, reset cartridge. Then just wait, and there you go, it works. Now, for other games, for games similar. They're uh games similar like Grand Theft Auto. They need a different emulation setup. See the save data cannot be accessed. So go to options, emulation setup, and instead of NDS cartridge backup media, put it on FRAM 32k bytes. Click OK, and click options, save options, set up a saved file, reset cartridge, and then you wait and there it goes um it depends on the game what the emulation setup is like Pokemon Platinum right here see I, p I just recently saved the option to fram 32 K bytes it works and everything but once you save the game once you save the game it, it'll corrupt after and you reset the cartridge or when you launch it again so you make sure you have flashed 512 K bytes if that ever happens just remember to go to emulation setup and change one of these setups.
OK, options, save options, set up is saved. And also you can edit the controls. Like up is what, blah, blah, blah. Like up would be up, down, left, right. Button A would be enter. I mean, you can pick whatever button B. Uh, select cue whatever you guys want. Stars and so this button A is could be Z or C. Yeah, uh, then and stuff. So doesn't really matter what you pick. It's really up to you. Yeah. So uh, good luck. Remember to save your options, then reset the game. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or something, concerns, whatever, please uh, comment. I will answer to the best of my abilities. I cannot always answer all of them correct, so you might want to check out other videos other than this. Thanks for watching. Uh, rate and comment, please. Thanks.